This show opened and it was in front of a live packed crowd and they were out of their minds. The last time that we saw Hangman Page before we had a global pandemic, he was insanely over. Yeah, sure. And then there were no more fans. And so for a year, he's done this. He's kind of like Sting. John Moxley doing a Sandman homage with a beer and smashing the can on his head. And when you think about it, I mean, John Moxley's better than the Sandman in every single possible way. The Sandman's music was a better fit for the Sandman than John Moxley's music. Fair. Can we talk about Nick Jackson's new uh, hairstyle? Please. He's always been blonde, but now he's like... uh, It's orange. People say we've changed. I don't think we've changed at all. And Matt turns to him and says, you did get an earring in your nose. Notice every time they mentioned a uh, location for a future show, Jim Ross talked about what he's going to eat there. <laughs> I did catch that, yes, yes. I think it would be unanimous choice for worst match in the show. Uh, the crowd was not into the match. They were not into the storyline. The pre-match video, she's talking about how hard she works because she's still a dentist and still works full-time at that and then goes and trains at night. She finally gets what she deserved. is this big, giant, huge, happy moment. If you watch the match... She's a heel throughout. It was nostalgic, it was old school, and it was great. Oh, This wow. was okay. one of those TNA main events. Wow, okay. We're like, no, remember we used to always see those? We're like 90 million people where they do all these near falls and there would be run-ins. And J- I'm surprised Jarrett wasn't here with the guitar. The inner circle begins to rappel down from the top of the stadium onto the upper decks in the concourse area. All three of them are decked out in perfect 1986 bunkhouse what stampede What the fuck gear. were these guys doing here? Aren't they we in the middle drinking. of a stadium stampede? This show needed to end with the good guys winning in the ring in the middle and a sold-out packed crowd at Davies Place singing at the top of their lungs to Judas. There was no other way for this show to go off the air. So as far as I'm concerned, home run. This noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? What's going on, Vinny? Look who's in studio here today. It's me. Yeah, it actually looks like you're in a cave. <laughs> you pretty much are. We're doing a retro 2005 show here today. Sure. And boy, is it ever retro. This mic that I'm using right now oh, no. is the same microphone that I used for IATA. I am wearing glasses because when the show started in 2005, I was wearing glasses and not contact lenses. Yes, in fact, the same pair of glasses from back then. Wow. Livid. Steaming mad. mad. Got the guitar behind me right here because uh, I hit you with the guitar in that picture we were looking at. Yes. One, two, three. Hit it. Bang. You know what's funny? Well, <laughs> yes, I do know what's funny. Mm-hmm. I'm well aware of what's funny. We're not going to connect her. We're going to call her. I see. Yeah, and I've forgotten her phone number, but luckily I've got my uh, Sprint uh, pocket PC right here. We oh should have God. her number in it. Let's call Granny, everybody. Hello. Hey, look who's here. Granny's on the air. What's going on, Granny? But we can hear a loud whistling in the background. I don't even know what that is. It's actually better. What is that? Smoke alarm. My my hearing aid. Your hearing aid is making a loud whistling noise? What? Nothing. Go ahead. You want me to take it off? No, 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 no. Please leave the hearing aid on when we're calling you on the telephone. I enjoyed it because I got to eat more hamburgers. Please, Vinny, please. Don't make me mute you. I think I was president once. What about you, Granny? You want to be president of the Empire? No, thank you. Mm. I don't blame I don't blame you. Excuse me. You're right over there? Yeah, I almost burped. I'm a yeah. drunk. What do you expect? A mortician. Always at am I close enough? Yes, yeah, so I can hear you just fine. Okay. There is crowd of the high. Another page turn. Should you do a second shot? No, so. no, 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 no. Sure? Maybe just half I, I already don't even know what's, which way is up, so this is a bad idea. The way he pressures you every Christmas show, and you're just going to give up that quickly. Well, that's the, the, the secret Yeah, because is... he's not a dick like I am, Craig. I'll happily admit that. Right Vinny is a down. better man than I. Wow, you are drunk. And on either side of the screen, there's a thick gray bar with the Impact logo. 
Mm-hmm. I thought, oh my God. God, this is in standard def. Do you know how drunk I am right now? I all of a sudden was was talking, and I all of a sudden looked up, and you were there, and I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is in the room? Who was in here? And it was Call you. The police. They're already in the back. Mm-hmm. But Shane throws a, his fingers to his earpiece and says, wait, there's something going on in the back. Right. And we go from the back to the back. I would have popped if the camera would have just panned slightly to the left. <laughs> Angle, AJ, and Karen, who, of course, were fighting. To the back! Okay, fuck it. Karen, Karen and we're talking about some AJ bullshit. Styles grandmother's house. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> What you get on the $9.99 tier will be everything that you get on the $7.99 tier, but you will have the ability to watch every one of those shows live. This is also something we're going to do live. I'm going to try and fix uh, Vinny's camera. So how do I do this? Shutter. Oh, here we go. Keep it there, Jared. I'm going to try and match Vinny up a little better. Right. Oh, that's too dark. Uh, I think one more. Uh... Shotzi. Hits the ring from behind, lays Raquel out. Or excuse me, not Shotzi. Dakota hits the ring in a very distracting outfit. WWE Network exclusive. There isn't even a WWE Network anymore. I suppose that's now also it's true. WWE on Peacock. So it ex- it's an exclusive for something that doesn't exist Wasn't... on something else. Eventually, the hit squad back d- backs down because, as Top Dollar put it, we came to get money, not deal with these dorks. What is going on with this ever rise? <laughs> like. It's amazing because I've never seen two people do so much while simultaneously doing so little. You couldn't lace my boots. You can't hang with me. You're not on my level. And anyone who watches pro wrestling knows that. When he goes up to the main roster, it's not going to be about in the ring. No. It's going to be about his personality, mm-hmm. his presence, presence is the his keyword. charisma. Yes. Vince doesn't give two shits if he can do a flip or whatever. Nope. He just wants this guy to be a big, mean dude. And uh, he's getting that part down, so that was good. And he puts on the headphones, and he couldn't actually generate a single tear. <laughs> so we just see the track down the side of his eye where a single tear has fallen. They're just shooting Escobar against the thing, and all of a sudden this fucking tsunami, which by the way, his name is Finnish, this tsunami wave rushes in and just smashes this guy flatter than a pancake against that wall. So much happened in the show, I was exhausted by the end. I kind of liked the show. Really? I didn't dislike it. I have so much more tolerance for this show than I do Raw and SmackDown. Your bar has been lowered. Yes. Yes. It has been vastly lowered. (laughs) It's destroyed, really. Show buzz going down is just... It's the best and worst thing that ever happened to wrestling. It's the worst because we don't know what's going on, but it's the best because we don't know what's going on. No one can bitch about shit. I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, Ah! <laughs> 